There's something about Christmas that uh, both captivates and beguiles and kind of stops us in our tracks. Uh, maybe it's the inevitable presence of children, uh, the presence of a child, the child of Bethlehem, that uh, recalls us back to uh, our own original innocence and the child in each and every one of us. Uh, wherever you are in your faith journey or in your personal life's journey, there's something about seeing a child enjoy Christmas. It sort of brings out the, the wonder, the hope, the innocence that deep down in all of us, we want to recapture. And in fact, is available to us if we welcome the child of Bethlehem. The message of Christmas isn't just about a day, isn't just about Christ's nativity. It's about a way of life, a way of looking at life. Looking at life through the eyes of a God that loves us and wants to be with us. Not only wants to be with us, but invites himself into our very hearts. Now we recognize that none of us is worthy of that. And there are things in our lives that we regret. And sometimes attitudes and, and, and ways of looking at life. This is the invitation of Christmas. Let your eyes be refreshed. Let your eyes look at life in a new way. Look at them through the eyes of the child of Bethlehem, who came not to curse, but to bless, who came not to judge the world, but actually to allow himself to be substituted for our judgment by his own life, who allowed himself to be a humble child, to be innocent, to be trusting, and to allow others into the, everybody into the, look at all the people that came to the crib of Bethlehem from far and wide, the shepherds, the, the magi, so many people who came from the corners of the earth, people in the margins of society, beggars, throughout Christ's life. He always showed this heart that was open to everyone. Everyone has a place in Christmas. I hope you find your place, and I hope you find that place in the heart of the child of Bethlehem. God bless you, and Merry Christmas.